Yahuchanan, John 11. Now a certain man was sick, named Eleazar of Bethany, the town of Miriam, and her sister Martha. It was that Miriam which anointed Adonai with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Eleazar was sick. <clears throat> Excuse me. Therefore his sisters sent unto him, saying, Adonai, behold, he whom you love is sick. When Yahusha heard that, he said, This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of Yah, that the Son of Elohim might be glorified thereby. Now Yahusha loved death Martha and her sister, and Eleazar. When he had heard, therefore, that he was sick, he abode two days still in the same place where he was. Then after that, said he to his Talmudim, Let us go into the land of Yahud again. His Talmudim say unto him, Rabbi, the Yahudim of late sought to stone you, and go ye thither again. Yahusha answered, Are there not twelve hours in the day? If any man walk in the day, he stumbles not, because he sees the light of this world. But if a man walk in the night, he stumbles, because there is no light in him. These things said he, and after that he said unto them, Our friend Eleazar sleeps, but I go that I may awake him out of sleep. Then said his Talmudim, Adonai, if he sleep, he should do well. Abiyad Yahusha spoke of his death but they thought that he had spoken of taking of rest in sleep. Then said Yahusha unto them plainly, Eleazar is dead, and I am glad for your sakes that I was not there, to the intent ye may believe. Nevertheless, let us go unto him. Then said Taom, which is called Didymus, unto his fellow Talmudim, Let us also go, that we may die with him. Then when Yahusha came, he found that he had lain in the grave four days already. Now Bethany was nigh unto Yerushalayim, about fifteen stadion off. And many of the Yahudim came to Martha and Miriam to comfort them concerning their brother. Then Martha, as soon as she heard that Yahusha was coming, went and met him, but Miriam sat still in the house. Then said Martha unto Yahusha Adonai, If you had been here, my brother had not died. But I know that even now, whatsoever you will ask of Yah, Yahuwah will give it you. But Yahusha said unto her, Your brother shall rise again. Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Yahusha said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? She said unto him, Yea, Adonai, I believe that you are Hamashiach, the son of Elohim, which should come into the world. And when she had said so, she went her way and called Miriam, her sister, secretly, saying, The rabbi is come and calls for you. As soon as she heard that, she arose quickly and came unto him. Now Yahusha was not yet come into the town, but was in that place where Martha met him. Yahudim then, which were with her in the house, and comforted her, when they saw Miriam, that she arose up hastily and went out, followed her, saying, She goes unto the grave to weep there. Then when Miriam was come where Yahusha was and saw him, she fell down at his feet, saying unto him, Adonai, if you had been here, my brother had not died. When Yahusha therefore saw her weeping, and the Yahudim also weeping which came with her, he groaned in his ruach and was troubled and said, where have you laid him? They said unto him, Adonai, come and see. Yahusha wept. 
Then said the Yahudim, Behold how he loved him. And some of them said, Could not this man which opened the eyes of the blind have caused that even this man should not have died? Yahusha, therefore again groaning in himself, came to the grave. It was a cave, and a stone lay upon it. Yahusha said, Take ye away the stone. Martha, the sister of him that was dead, said unto him, Adonai, by this time he stinketh, for he has been dead four days. Yahusha said unto her, Said I not unto you that if you would believe, you should see the glory of Yahweh? Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. And Yahusha lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me, and I knew that you hear me always. But because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe that you have sent me. And when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Eleazar, come forth. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes, rather grave clothes, and his face was bound about with a napkin. Yahusha said unto them, Loose him and let him go. Then many of the Yahudim which came to Miriam and had seen the things which Yahusha did, believed on him. But some of them went their ways to the Parashim and told them what things Yahusha had done. Then gathered the chief priests and the Parashim a council and said, What do we? For this man does many miracles. If we let him thus alone, all men will believe on him. And the Romaim shall come and take away both our place and nation. And one of them named Kaapha, being the high priest that same year, said unto them, Ye know nothing at all, nor consider that it is expedient for us that one man should die for the people, and that the whole nation perish not. And this he spoke not of himself, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Yahusha should die for that nation, and not for that nation only, but that also he should gather together in one the children of Yahuwah that were scattered abroad. Then from that day forth they took counsel together for to put him to death, Yahusha therefore walked no more openly among the Yahudim, but went thence unto a country near to the wilderness, into a city called Ephraim, and there continued with his Talmudi. In Yahuwah's Pichach, a feast which the Yahudim observed, was nigh at hand, and many went out of the country up to Yerushalayim before the Pichach to purify themselves. Then sought they for Yahusha, and spoke among themselves as they stood in the temple. What think ye, that he will not come to the feast? Now, both the chief priests and the parashim had given a commandment that if any man knew where he was, he should show it, that they might take him.